This morning, AMD announced its completion of its Xilinx acquisition, the largest semiconductor deal ever and the second largest tech acquisition ever at its $49 billion value. I had the chance to catch up with AMD CEO Lisa Su this week and to talk about day one of the combined AMD and Xilinx. It was a good conversation, one that indicates to me that a focused AMD has a big and bright future opportunity. I was also surprised to hear that AMD previously licensed Xilinx technology and has been integrating that IP into its processor roadmap with the first expected products in 2023. Surprise! AMD and Xilinx in review we think it would be helpful to first review what the companies do separately and then talk about what the combined entity can offer. AMD is a $135 billion market cap valued company deriving most of its annual $16.4B revenue from high performance PC, server and game console CPUs, GPUs and so CS with an annual $85 billion TAM. It primarily runs a horizontal development, $2.8B slash year, and marketing strategy except for game consoles for Sony and Microsoft which is very much a specialized use case. Xilinx is a $48 billion market cap valued company and drives most of its $3.1B annual revenues from embedded markets with FPGAs and very high performance and programmable SOCs with an annual $50 billion TAM. Xilinx has a balanced horizontal and vertical development, $1B slash year, and marketing approach and strength in automotive, carrier, industrial, aerospace and defense applications. Xilinx has mature and accelerated software stacks for AI, networking, analytics and video transcoding. Combined company capability SEC opportunities in AMD bringing its IP and solutions to Xilinx's embedded markets and vice versa, but I see the biggest opportunity in the data center where both companies have different kinds of strengths. AMD has strength in server CPUs and has a line of data center GPUs while Xilinx offers IP, products, and expertise in SmartNICs, AI inference, and AI analytics. Marvel invented the SmartNIC, AWS took it to another level and now AMD will be going after that market competing with Marvel, Intel, and NVIDIA. With new AI inference capabilities for the data center, I could see AMD having much stronger offerings to compete with both NVIDIA and Intel.